Hey guys, it's me, it's me, the Nintendo Story Man here. Welcome back to some more Tekken 3. Last time on Tekken 3, um, I think we used King, um, King a wrestler, mask, uh, he's actually a luchador, uh, technically he would be a luchador wrestler, he wears a mask. Um, so we used King in arcade mode, and today, we didn't get anyone new, did we? Oh, we have Ogre. I think he's new, but I'm not going to use him yet. Um, yeah, we're going to actually go for Heihachi Mishima. Yes, the patriarch of the Mishima clan. The big baddie. Alright. Let's look at Heihachi's moves here. Heihachi's just power. He's, he's old, but he's powerful. He's really strong. Um... Yeah, he has a lot of weird combos, as you can see here. I'm not good with a lot of his combos, but I'm good with using him. Kind of. He has like a fist... F Whoa, okay. He has like a fist flash. There we go. Kind of like um, Jin's uh, move. It's like a fist flash move or something like that. But he's pretty good. Kicks are really good. I don't know what his grabs are though. Let me see if I can pull one off. Oh yeah, it's like a, like a noogie. I um, as a kid, whenever um, it wasn't Hey Arnold when they did the noogies or something like that. You just like kind of rub your fist in their head. That's kind of like what it reminds me of with Hey Hachi. <laughs> but yeah, he's also rich. Uh, the Misima um, Corporation or Misima Zaibatsu is, is called. So he's he's pretty rich. Okay. Alright, Law. There we go. That's his um like kind of really um powerful fist punch combo. Why I just lost to the law, which I guess makes sense considering Hayachi. <laughs> oh, okay, you're trying something there. Oh no, no no, I don't want to lose this early with Hayachi. It's embarrassing. No. Backhand you. Kick. Bam. Alright, let's go. Get his head. I don't, here's the thing with Heihachi. I don't understand how he's always generating electricity. It's I don't know if it's ever explained in the game. In the There's been um, a, some recent anime on Netflix. I don't know. I don't think it's been explained in the anime. Um, but yeah, he can just generate electricity. I don't know how. It's ridiculous. When it gets Nina, so he's gonna get electrocuted with every, like, punch, kick, and everything. There we go. If he... Like, like he fights somewhat similar to Jin, which makes sense, considering Jin is um, Hayati's grandson, so... If you can get Jin... Um, if you, if you know how to fight with Jin, you can probably figure out Heihachi, just as well. I'll give it a little, little neck crack there. You know, a little chiropractic medicine there, and then, <laughs> done. I don't know who chooses these places that we fight. We're like fighting in like a abandoned factory. Here's King now. At least Kings make sense. Well, kind of. He's in like a... Um, we're in, a, we're in a ring, clearly, like a wrestling ring, but it also looks like we're in the mountains. Look at that. Oh, we perfect. Wow, nice. Our first perfect with um, Heihachi. Barely did anything. Now grab you. Now I'll show you a headlock there. I can wrestle too, King. I can wrestle too. Okay, never mind. So yeah, Heihachi, I believe, is like, you know, he uses a Misma style fighting. So it's effectively it's karate. So that's just how he is. The, the Mishima style is effectively karate. So it's, you know, no name for it. Julia Chang. I think these guys, these two, have an interesting history. I believe that like, like Julia like loves like the na na nature and everything, and how Heihachi runs his business is like you know doesn't care about nature and stuff. So. They have a thing. 
Not really a rivalry, but they don't like each other at all. Not a lot of people like Heihachi. <laughs> For pretty, like Kuma is like one of the few people that actually somewhat like Heihachi. Like he trained, well, he helped train Kuma as well as um, Zayu did. Okay. Interesting. Bam! There we go. Nice. Julia can't stand him to the fist flash of Heihachi Mishima. Keep in mind, despite his age, Heihachi does not have any, like, and, and, and don't ask me about the, the, the electricity thing. Um, he didn't do any, like, in enhancements to his body. This is his natural strength. Like, he just trained like no one's business, and he's just this strong. He's like 60, or like he, in this game, he's like his mid-50s, or like 60-something years old. Because I know in Tekken 7, he's at least 70 or something, I think. So, yeah, he he trained like you won't believe. Oh, jeez. Okay, Anna. Okay, Anna. Okay, Anna. Let me get up. I don't know what you're doing there. You think you're the law. Flipping everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. What was that scream? Ah, <laughs> selling. Ah, <Aww. laughs> I lost. <laughs> All right, Lie. I don't know if there's ever been an interaction between Heihachi and Lie. I think there has been, because I mean, Lie is a cop. Heihachi is effectively a criminal. So, I'm assuming he's been- Whoa, 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 what was that? I've never seen Lie do that before. Oh, that's- that- that kick? Um... Hold on, I think he's dead- Oh, no! Okay. I was trying to show it, but then he decided to do the Chrome Dome. There we go, that move. Um... I believe- What the heck? Monkey Flip? Okay. I believe it's, um... Kazuya that does, like, a- better version of that. Get up, nut muffin self. He does a more like a, he's a better version of the spinning kick. He does more spins than Heihachi can. Alright, we had to go third round with Lie. Axe kick there. There we go, Gavs this bloody monkey flip. I swear to you, what was that? I'm not losing, no! No! I'm ah! He's gonna, oh good, I got him with an axe kick. Oh yeah, yeah. I was close. That was a little too close, Lie. No, no, no. All right, harang. Oh yeah, yeah. You would think with all this electricity he can produce, he can just go and just electrocute them. Look at this. Like that's just this. This electricity alone should be enough to just like finish them. Come here. Let me give you a little, little neck crack there. Nice uppercut. Oh, how did he miss the axe kick? There we go. So yeah, I mean like, yeah, so... Hey, actually, like I said, powerful. Um, if you know how to use, um... Um... Jin, you could probably figure out, uh... Hey, Hachi. If you've played the past games, you know how to play with, um... Kazuya, you can, you can figure out... Hey, Hachi, get off! There you go. How do you like them kicks? I like that rank. <laughs> it lets you go down to your knees. All right, Jin. Grandfather versus grandson. Come here. Oh, okay. All right. No, no, no. We need to have a hug. No, hug. Hug. Hug me. No. Okay. Why am I failing here? Yeah. Okay. Fine, Batista bomb. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna hug you, but no. Bam. Jumping power bomb. Ow. Alright. Let's do this a little better now. There it is. Nice. That's what I like to start with. Oh, okay, a little judo throw there by um by Jen. Nice. Okay. Okay. We got some. We got. <laughs> we got some a little bit more moves from Jin Kazama, but jumping kick Heihachi here. Yeah, he ended that quick. All right, Ogre. I think these two have 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 somewhat of a history. I don't remember kind of how it is, 
but I think they have a history. I can't remember. But clearly, Ogre not doing so well here. I just, I just probably the easiest I've actually beaten base Ogre. <laughs> oh, he takes Jin in this version. Oh, so because usually he takes Heihachi. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So that's interesting. I forgot about that actually. <laughs> and the, the, the punching bag that is true Ogre. <laughs> wow, that was just sad. All right, let's see what Heihachi's ending is. Because I actually don't remember what it is. Oh, well, there's True Ogre. Oh, he's gone. Ah, he beat, he beat True Ogre. And there's Jin. Oh, he took Jin. He's probably going to help him out, like rescue him or something. Uh-oh. Oh, no, the, the, me the devil markings. He's like, oh, no, no, we're not doing this stuff again. Yup. He just tosses him out of a helicopter. <laughs> He's like, I didn't want it to be this way. <laughs> but it had to end this way. Yeah. He, like, yeah, the, the Misima was, like, tossing the, like, family members off of cliffs into volcanoes off of helicopters. <laughs> just because he sees the little bit of the markings for the devil gene. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, that's Heihachi's ending. <laughs> just throws his grandson off. You gotta be kidding me, it froze. It's been doing so well. Oh, jeez. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, <laughs> so yeah, well, next time on uh, Tech M3, with Hey Hachi's ending done, we'll go for another another good person. Um, we're gonna get to people that I'm really just not good with. I might choose actually one of the female characters because I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> so we'll see. So yeah, it's been me, the Nintendo Man, signing off, and I'll see you guys with more Tekken 3. See you later!